Hello, we are live. We're going to jump right in to doing a complete flip through of the updated chemistry unit from the good and the beautiful. And we're going to check out every item. One thing that is new and you well unique to this particular unit is that it's for grades five through eight. That doesn't mean that younger kids can't do it. You just have to judge their readiness for it. So we got 14 lessons and we'll check out the books in a little bit. Supplies needed. I will always recommend that you read through the supply list. And if you have, if there's something on it that you don't have, check the lesson to see if you're going to actually need it, if you're going to do that activity or not. The vocabulary words, I like to put a little sticky flag on here and then just review them each lesson that we add more. And if at any point in this flip through you need me to speed up or slow down, there's a little settings button in the bottom right hand corner that you can adjust my speed with. And if we haven't met yet, hi there, I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. I have been doing a series of videos on all of the new and updated science units from The Good and the Beautiful since they started releasing them with the student journals. So everything that has been released up to date, up to, to this one, I have a video on and they are all in a playlist playlist that I have linked in the description box for you. And as new ones are released throughout the rest of their planned schedule, I will be doing videos on them as soon as they arrive. I like to show you every page because I am just one of those people that really wants to know what I'm getting before I make a purchase. Since I love the good and the beautiful, that's something that I know that we'll, we'll, we will use, and so I can show them to you. Oh, an appendix, ah, I see. You know, one thing that I think would be a great resource to go with this would be the, um, especially for the younger kiddos, would be the Usborne Lift the Flap um, table of contents, which I should have brought down, I have that but I did not bring it with me. All right, let's go through the student journal. Got my books falling over next to me. Oh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna set them there so they don't fall over. Okay, so this one has something for every lesson because they have, ooh, they have the um, lesson extensions in here as well. Actually, there's no lesson extension. Lesson one, lesson two. Interesting. We don't have a lesson extension in this burn, unless it's in the course book and I just didn't pay attention to that because it is for the older kiddos. Oh, I love chemistry and all these bonds and all the different things, it's so fun. All right, the book pack. Actually, let's check and see if there's lesson extensions in here. I'm gonna guess probably not because you are doing the lesson with your kid right there. So it's just, it's not really an extension. You're just doing it together. Yeah, I'm not seeing a specific extension. There's just lab safety rules, begin the maze. Yeah, no lesson extensions for this course, which makes sense because it's already geared for older kiddos. And the lesson extensions are to help the older kiddos dive a little deeper. Okay, so the story of Alice Ball. I'm gonna try to go through this really quick. If you ever have any questions live or on the replay, please drop them down in the comments. I love to be able to help you out in any way that I can. Look at that, the Book of Elements. Let's see if I can, there we go.
All right, Mary Carey. This is going to be a novel, likely of her, her life. And we've got just a chapter book. It is level eight for those older readers, which makes sense given that this is geared towards that. If you are trying to think of how you can fit these books into your school day, you could maybe read a little bit at the beginning of each lesson, or I like to do mine during like a read aloud time. I do a parent read aloud every day. Um, my husband and I trade off and I like to do the books during that time. So I will typically have a book that is related to our schoolwork and then a novel that I read a chapter from each or 10 minutes from this one and then a chapter, however that works out for me, but you can do what works for you. And if you ever have any questions, again, drop them down in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me for this flip through. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.